Can you tell me a little about yourself? Sure. I have a background in marketing and have worked in the industry for five years. I specialize in digital marketing strategies. Can you tell me a little about yourself? Sure. I have a background in marketing and have worked in the industry for five years. I specialize in digital marketing strategies. What motivated you to apply for this position? I'm drawn to the company's commitment to innovation, and I believe my skills align well with the challenges in this role. What motivated you to apply for this position? I'm drawn to the company's commitment to innovation, and I believe my skills align well with the challenges in this role. How do you handle tight deadlines and pressure? I prioritize tasks and break them into manageable steps, ensuring I meet deadlines without compromising quality. How do you handle tight deadlines and pressure? I prioritize tasks and break them into manageable steps, ensuring I meet deadlines without compromising quality. Describe a situation where you had to work in a team. In my previous role, we collaborated on a product launch and I contributed by coordinating communication between departments. Describe a situation where you had to work in a team. In my previous role, we collaborated on a product launch and I contributed by coordinating communication between departments. What software tools are you proficient in? I'm proficient in Microsoft Office, particularly Excel and PowerPoint, and I have experience using CRM systems. What software tools are you proficient in? I'm proficient in Microsoft Office, particularly Excel and PowerPoint, and I have experience using CRM systems. How do you stay updated on industry trends? I regularly read industry blogs, attend webinars, and participate in professional development courses to stay informed. How do you stay updated on industry trends? I regularly read industry blogs, attend webinars, and participate in professional development courses to stay informed. Can you give an example of when you had to solve a problem? Once, our team faced a production issue, and I quickly identified the root cause, implementing a solution that minimized downtime. Can you give an example of when you had to solve a problem? Once, our team faced a production issue, and I quickly identified the root cause, implementing a solution that minimized downtime. What are your strengths and weaknesses? My strengths include adaptability and strong analytical skills, while I continually work on improving my time management. What are your strengths and weaknesses? My strengths include adaptability and strong analytical skills, while I continually work on improving my time management. How do you handle constructive criticism? I appreciate feedback as an opportunity for growth and use it to enhance my skills and performance in future tasks. How do you handle constructive criticism? I appreciate feedback as an opportunity for growth and use it to enhance my skills and performance in future tasks. Describe a successful project you were involved in. I led a successful marketing campaign that resulted in a 20% increase in customer engagement and a 15% boost in sales. Describe a successful project you were involved in. I led a successful marketing campaign that resulted in a 20% increase in customer engagement and a 15% boost in sales. What interests you about our company culture? Your emphasis on collaboration and innovation resonates with me.
and I'm excited about the prospect of contributing to such a dynamic environment. What interests you about our company culture? Your emphasis on collaboration and innovation resonates with me, and I'm excited about the prospect of contributing to such a dynamic environment. How do you manage your time effectively at work? I prioritize tasks based on urgency and importance, use a calendar to schedule deadlines, and regularly reassess my workload. How do you manage your time effectively at work? I prioritize tasks based on urgency and importance, use a calendar to schedule deadlines, and regularly reassess my workload. Can you give an example of a situation where you showed leadership? I took the lead in organizing a team building event, fostering a positive work environment, and strengthening team cohesion. Can you give an example of a situation where you showed leadership? I took the lead in organizing a team building event, fostering a positive work environment, and strengthening team cohesion. How do you handle conflicts within a team? I believe in open communication and addressing issues directly, seeking compromise and focusing on finding a resolution that benefits the team. How do you handle conflicts within a team? I believe in open communication and addressing issues directly, seeking compromise and focusing on finding a resolution that benefits the team. What do you know about our products? I've researched your product services and understand how they address specific customer needs, which aligns with my interest in contributing to their success. What do you know about our products? I've researched your product services and understand how they address specific customer needs, which aligns with my interest in contributing to their success. How do you prioritize tasks when working on multiple projects? I use a combination of project management tools and regular check-ins to ensure that I'm meeting deadlines and delivering quality work on all projects. How do you prioritize tasks when working on multiple projects? I use a combination of project management tools and regular check-ins to ensure that I'm meeting deadlines and delivering quality work on all projects. Describe a time when you had to learn a new skill quickly. In my previous role, I had to quickly learn how to use a new software platform to streamline our data analysis process, and I successfully adapted within a week. Describe a time when you had to learn a new skill quickly. In my previous role, I had to quickly learn how to use a new software platform to streamline our data analysis process, and I successfully adapted within a week. What do you believe is the most important quality in a team member? I believe communication is key. A team member who communicates effectively ensures everyone is on the same page, leading to successful collaboration. What do you believe is the most important quality in a team member? I believe communication is key. A team member who communicates effectively ensures everyone is on the same page, leading to successful collaboration. How do you handle a situation where you disagree with a team member? I approach disagreements with an open mind, seeking to understand the other person's perspective and finding a compromise that aligns with our common goals. How do you handle a situation where you disagree with a team member? I approach disagreements with an open mind, seeking to understand the other person's perspective and finding a compromise that aligns with our common goals. How do you stay organized in your work? 
I use a combination of to-do lists, calendars and project management tools to keep track of tasks and deadlines, ensuring nothing falls through the cracks. How do you stay organized in your work? I use a combination of to-do lists, calendars and project management tools to keep track of tasks and deadlines, ensuring nothing falls through the cracks. What is your experience with project management tools? I've used tools like Trello and Asana extensively to manage projects, allocate tasks, and ensure smooth collaboration within the team. What is your experience with project management tools? I've used tools like Trello and Asana extensively to manage projects, allocate tasks, and ensure smooth collaboration within the team. Can you provide an example of when you had to meet a challenging goal? In my previous role, I was tasked with increasing customer retention by 15%. And through targeted strategies, we not only met, but exceeded that goal within the set time frame. Can you provide an example of when you had to meet a challenging goal? In my previous role, I was tasked with increasing customer retention by 15%. And through targeted strategies, we not only met, but exceeded that goal within the set time frame. How do you adapt to changes in the workplace? I embrace change as an opportunity for growth and improvement, staying flexible and proactively seeking ways to contribute positively to the evolving work environment. How do you adapt to changes in the workplace? I embrace change as an opportunity for growth and improvement, staying flexible and proactively seeking ways to contribute positively to the evolving work environment. How would you handle a situation where a project is behind schedule? I would assess the reasons behind the delay, collaborate with the team to develop a revised plan and work diligently to get the project back on track while maintaining quality. How would you handle a situation where a project is behind schedule? I would assess the reasons behind the delay, collaborate with the team to develop a revised plan and work diligently to get the project back on track while maintaining quality. Describe a time when you had to provide feedback to a colleague. I provided constructive feedback to a colleague on their presentation skills, highlighting specific areas for improvement while also acknowledging their strengths. Describe a time when you had to provide feedback to a colleague. I provided constructive feedback to a colleague on their presentation skills, highlighting specific areas for improvement while also acknowledging their strengths. What do you enjoy most about working in your current field? I enjoy the dynamic nature of marketing, especially the creative aspects involved in developing strategies and campaigns to engage with diverse audiences. What do you enjoy most about working in your current field? I enjoy the dynamic nature of marketing, especially the creative aspects involved in developing strategies and campaigns to engage with diverse audiences. How do you ensure attention to detail in your work? I follow a systematic approach, double-checking my work, and utilizing tools like spell check to ensure accuracy and attention to detail in all aspects of my tasks. How do you ensure attention to detail in your work? I follow a systematic approach, double-checking my work, and utilizing tools like spell check to ensure accuracy and attention to detail in all aspects of my tasks. Can you share an experience where you had to negotiate with a colleague or client? I negotiated successfully with a client on contract terms, finding a mutually beneficial agreement that addressed their needs and ensured a positive working relationship. 
Can you share an experience where you had to negotiate with a colleague or client? I negotiated successfully with a client on contract terms, finding a mutually beneficial agreement that addressed their needs and ensured a positive working relationship. How do you handle a situation where you don't know how to solve a problem? I would research the issue, consult with colleagues or seek guidance from relevant resources to find a solution, ensuring I'm proactive in addressing challenges. How do you handle a situation where you don't know how to solve a problem? I would research the issue, consult with colleagues or seek guidance from relevant resources to find a solution, ensuring I'm proactive in addressing challenges. Describe a situation where you had to meet a tight budget. In a previous project, I successfully managed to meet a tight budget by carefully allocating resources, negotiating favourable deals and prioritising cost-effective solutions. Describe a situation where you had to meet a tight budget. In a previous project, I successfully managed to meet a tight budget by carefully allocating resources, negotiating favourable deals and prioritising cost-effective solutions. What strategies do you use to ensure effective communication within a team? I emphasise regular team meetings, clear and concise communication and encourage an open-door policy to address any concerns or questions that may arise. What strategies do you use to ensure effective communication within a team? I emphasise regular team meetings, clear and concise communication and encourage an open-door policy to address any concerns or questions that may arise. How do you handle competing priorities? I assess the urgency and impact of each task, prioritise accordingly, and communicate with stakeholders to manage expectations while ensuring all critical tasks are addressed. How do you handle competing priorities? I assess the urgency and impact of each task, prioritise accordingly, and communicate with stakeholders to manage expectations while ensuring all critical tasks are addressed. Describe a situation where you had to overcome a significant obstacle. I faced a challenge with a project deadline due to unforeseen circumstances. But through effective time management and collaboration, we overcame the obstacle and met the deadline successfully. Describe a situation where you had to overcome a significant obstacle. I faced a challenge with a project deadline due to unforeseen circumstances. But through effective time management and collaboration, we overcame the obstacle and met the deadline successfully. How do you keep yourself motivated at work? I stay motivated by setting both short-term and long-term goals, celebrating achievements and seeking opportunities for continuous learning and professional development. How do you keep yourself motivated at work? I stay motivated by setting both short-term and long-term goals, celebrating achievements and seeking opportunities for continuous learning and professional development. Can you provide an example of when you had to deal with a difficult team member? I navigated a challenging situation by addressing the concerns privately, listening actively and finding common ground to ensure a more positive and productive working relationship. Can you provide an example of when you had to deal with a difficult team member? I navigated a challenging situation by addressing the concerns privately, listening actively and finding common ground to ensure a more positive and productive working relationship. How do you ensure your work aligns with the company's goals and objectives? I regularly align my tasks and projects with the company's overarching goals, seeking feedback and adjusting my approach to ensure my work contributes to the organization's success. 
How do you ensure your work aligns with the company's goals and objectives? I regularly align my tasks and projects with the company's overarching goals, seeking feedback and adjusting my approach to ensure my work contributes to the organization's success. Can you share an experience where you had to present complex information to a non-technical audience? I presented a detailed market analysis to a non-marketing team, breaking down complex data into easily understandable visuals and key points to ensure effective communication. Can you share an experience where you had to present complex information to a non-technical audience? I presented a detailed market analysis to a non-marketing team, breaking down complex data into easily understandable visuals and key points to ensure effective communication. How do you handle a situation where you disagree with your supervisor's decision? I would respectfully express my perspective, providing supporting evidence, and then work to implement the decision effectively demonstrating a commitment to the team's goals. How do you handle a situation where you disagree with your supervisor's decision? I would respectfully express my perspective, providing supporting evidence, and then work to implement the decision effectively, demonstrating a commitment to the team's goals. Describe a time when you had to work under minimal supervision. In my previous role, I managed a remote project with minimal supervision, demonstrating self-motivation, effective time management, and a proactive approach to problem solving. Describe a time when you had to work under minimal supervision. In my previous role, I managed a remote project with minimal supervision, demonstrating self-motivation, effective time management, and a proactive approach to problem solving. How do you contribute to fostering a positive work environment? I contribute to a positive work environment by being approachable, offering support to colleagues, and actively participating in team-building activities and initiatives. How do you contribute to fostering a positive work environment? I contribute to a positive work environment by being approachable, offering support to colleagues, and actively participating in team-building activities and initiatives. What steps do you take to ensure the security of sensitive information? I follow company protocols for data security use secure passwords, and ensure that confidential information is shared only with authorized individuals, maintaining a high level of integrity. What steps do you take to ensure the security of sensitive information? I follow company protocols for data security, use secure passwords, and ensure that confidential information is shared only with authorized individuals, maintaining a high level of integrity. Can you provide an example of when you had to adapt to changes in project scope? I adapted to changes in project scope by re-evaluating priorities, communicating adjustments to stakeholders, and ensuring that the team remained focused on delivering quality results within the revised scope. Can you provide an example of when you had to adapt to changes in project scope? I adapted to changes in project scope by re-evaluating priorities, communicating adjustments to stakeholders, and ensuring that the team remained focused on delivering quality results within the revised scope. How do you approach learning new technologies relevant to your role? I approach learning new technologies by engaging in online courses, attending workshops, and actively seeking opportunities to apply the new knowledge and practical projects. How do you approach learning new technologies relevant to your role? I approach learning new technologies by engaging in online courses, 
attending workshops, and actively seeking opportunities to apply the new knowledge and practical projects. Describe a time when you had to troubleshoot a technical issue. I troubleshooted a technical issue by systematically identifying potential causes, testing solutions, and collaborating with the IT team to implement a resolution that minimized downtime. Describe a time when you had to troubleshoot a technical issue. I troubleshooted a technical issue by systematically identifying potential causes, testing solutions, and collaborating with the IT team to implement a resolution that minimized downtime. How do you ensure your work complies with industry regulations and standards? I stay informed about industry regulations through continuous learning, collaborate with relevant stakeholders, and regularly review and update my processes to ensure compliance. How do you ensure your work complies with industry regulations and standards? I stay informed about industry regulations through continuous learning, collaborate with relevant stakeholders, and regularly review and update my processes to ensure compliance. Can you share an experience where you had to juggle multiple tasks with competing deadlines? I managed multiple tasks with competing deadlines by prioritizing based on urgency breaking down tasks into smaller steps, and utilizing time management techniques to meet all deadlines successfully. Can you share an experience where you had to juggle multiple tasks with competing deadlines? I managed multiple tasks with competing deadlines by prioritizing based on urgency breaking down tasks into smaller steps, and utilizing time management techniques to meet all deadlines successfully. How do you approach training new team members? I provide comprehensive training materials, offer hands-on guidance, and encourage open communication to ensure new team members feel supported and confident in their roles. How do you approach training new team members? I provide comprehensive training materials, offer hands-on guidance, and encourage open communication to ensure new team members feel supported and confident in their roles. Describe a situation where you had to resolve a customer complaint. I resolved a customer complaint by actively listening to their concerns, empathizing with their experience, and offering a timely and effective solution that exceeded their expectations. Describe a situation where you had to resolve a customer complaint. I resolved a customer complaint by actively listening to their concerns, empathizing with their experience, and offering a timely and effective solution that exceeded their expectations. How do you stay organized when managing multiple ongoing projects? I use project management tools to track progress, create detailed timelines, and regularly update stakeholders, ensuring clear communication and organization throughout the project lifecycle. How do you stay organized when managing multiple ongoing projects? I use project management tools to track progress, create detailed timelines, and regularly update stakeholders, ensuring clear communication and organization throughout the project lifecycle. Can you provide an example of when you had to adapt your communication style to a diverse audience? I adapted my communication style when presenting to an international team by using clear language, visual aids, and ensuring an interactive session to accommodate diverse language proficiency levels. Can you provide an example of when you had to adapt your communication style to a diverse audience? I adapted my communication style when presenting to an international team by using clear language, visual aids, and ensuring an interactive session to accommodate diverse language proficiency levels. 
What strategies do you use to foster a collaborative team environment? I encourage open communication, organize team building activities, and recognize and celebrate team achievements to foster a positive and collaborative work atmosphere. What strategies do you use to foster a collaborative team environment? I encourage open communication, organize team building activities, and recognize and celebrate team achievements to foster a positive and collaborative work atmosphere. How do you handle a situation where you realize you've made a mistake in your work? I take ownership of the mistake, promptly communicate it to relevant parties, and work proactively to rectify the error while implementing measures to prevent similar occurrences in the future. How do you handle a situation where you realize you've made a mistake in your work? I take ownership of the mistake promptly communicate it to relevant parties, and work proactively to rectify the error while implementing measures to prevent similar occurrences in the future. Describe a situation where you had to work with a cross-functional team. I collaborated with a cross-functional team on a product launch, ensuring effective communication between departments and contributing to the successful execution of the project. Describe a situation where you had to work with a cross-functional team. I collaborated with a cross-functional team on a product launch, ensuring effective communication between departments and contributing to the successful execution of the project. How do you ensure the accuracy of data in your reports and analyses? I verified data sources, double-check calculations, and regularly cross-reference information to ensure the accuracy and reliability of data presented in reports and analyses. How do you ensure the accuracy of data in your reports and analyses? I verified data sources, double-check calculations, and regularly cross-reference information to ensure the accuracy and reliability of data presented in reports and analyses. Can you provide an example of when you had to adapt to changes in project requirements? I adapted to changes in project requirements by reassessing priorities, collaborating with stakeholders, and ensuring that the team remained flexible and responsive to evolving project needs. Can you provide an example of when you had to adapt to changes in project requirements? I adapted to changes in project requirements by reassessing priorities, collaborating with stakeholders, and ensuring that the team remained flexible and responsive to evolving project needs. How do you handle situations where team members have conflicting priorities? I facilitate open communication, encourage team members to share their priorities, and work collaboratively to find solutions that balance individual and team goals. How do you handle situations where team members have conflicting priorities? I facilitate open communication, encourage team members to share their priorities, and work collaboratively to find solutions that balance individual and team goals. Describe a situation where you had to lead a team through a challenging project. I led a team through a challenging project by providing clear direction, fostering collaboration, and ensuring each team member's strengths were utilized to overcome obstacles and achieve success. Describe a situation where you had to lead a team through a challenging project. I led a team through a challenging project by providing clear direction, fostering collaboration, and ensuring each team member's strengths were utilized to overcome obstacles and achieve success. How do you ensure that your work contributes to the overall success of the team and organization? I regularly align my tasks and projects with team and organizational goals, seek feedback from stakeholders, and make adjustments to ensure my work positively impacts overall success. 
How do you ensure that your work contributes to the overall success of the team and organization? I regularly align my tasks and projects with team and organizational goals, seek feedback from stakeholders, and make adjustments to ensure my work positively impacts overall success. Can you provide an example of when you had to mentor or train a colleague? I mentored a new team member by providing guidance on company processes, sharing best practices, and offering ongoing support to help them acclimate to their role successfully. Can you provide an example of when you had to mentor or train a colleague? I mentored a new team member by providing guidance on company processes, sharing best practices, and offering ongoing support to help them acclimate to their role successfully. How do you handle a situation where a project you are working on faces unexpected obstacles? I assess the obstacles collaborate with the team to develop a plan, and leverage my problem-solving skills to navigate the challenges and keep the project on track. How do you handle a situation where a project you are working on faces unexpected obstacles? I assess the obstacles, collaborate with the team to develop a plan, and leverage my problem-solving skills to navigate the challenges and keep the project on track. Describe a time when you had to handle sensitive or confidential information. I handled sensitive information by strictly adhering to confidentiality protocols, ensuring secure storage, and only sharing information with authorized individuals when necessary. Describe a time when you had to handle sensitive or confidential information. I handled sensitive information by strictly adhering to confidentiality protocols, ensuring secure storage, and only sharing information with authorized individuals when necessary. How do you prioritize tasks when faced with multiple urgent deadlines? I assess the urgency and impact of each task prioritize based on deadlines and importance, and communicate with stakeholders to manage expectations and ensure timely delivery. How do you prioritize tasks when faced with multiple urgent deadlines? I assess the urgency and impact of each task, prioritize based on deadlines and importance, and communicate with stakeholders to manage expectations and ensure timely delivery.